Today's class is a Stampus deck. And what that is, for those of you maybe who haven't been part of Stampus deck classes, that is where we make multiple cards um, in, in the same design. So for today's class, we're doing three different designs, two of each kind. So in the end, you'll have six cards. And anyone who places an order or pays the class fee, they'll get all the supplies for these projects, as well as the special classroom treat from myself. So let me switch views so you can kind of see what it is we're going to be making tonight. And here they are here. So this is the stamp a stack of lovely cards using a one sheet wonder um, based on a six by six piece of designer series paper. Now, some of you I know may not really be attracted to the birds and the lovely pastel colors. So for those of you who are taking the class, class option or placing an order, I have selected some paper from the uh, Come Sail Away collection, um, which is like the sailboats, the nautical kind of theme with some of the knots. And so you can have the project with these pieces kind of more um, a neutral tone. So let me just kind of go over the thought process for designing these cards. As kind of with most of my projects, the, the designs come from selecting the paper first. So first I select the designer series paper that I want to use. And in this case, it was the Bird Ballard Suite. So it's one of those papers that is going to be retiring soon. Here's the other side of that. Isn't that beautiful? But of course, there's six different designs. So I start with that. And then what I do is I look for the coordinating colors. So I'll pick some cardstock that matches. And in this case, I've picked the Pool Party as well as some petal pink color to coordinate. And then you need ink. And so the ink that I've chosen with this is the Tuxedo Memento Black. And just because it does coordinate with the black outline in all the designer series paper, but basically you pick a neutral of some sort. So for this class, it's the black ink. The card base, then, I pick to match the colors that I've chosen. So in this case, it's Whisper White, and we're using the thick cardstock. So let me show you, I've already pre-cut some of that. Let me just show you what we've cut these ones to. So we've got two pieces of cardstock at four and a quarter by 11, and then one that's cut to eight and a half by five and a half. And so I'm gonna take my bone folder, whoa, sorry about that. I'm gonna take the bone folder and just score crisply, crispy, crisply score all of those cards just to get them all ready. Now the one that I've cut to eight and a half by five and a half, we're gonna turn that into a little bit of a fun fold. So I'm just gonna pull my paper trimmer. And so not only am I gonna score that at five and a half, but I'm also gonna give that a score at two and one eighths. So I'm just gonna slide that in and do that. And let me show you what that ends up doing. So you're just gonna fold that over and so it makes a fun card like that. Okay, so we've got our card bases ready. So now we wanna cut our designer series paper. And this is where the fun comes in. So I've got my designer series paper. In this case, I'm using two because you're making double the cards. So I'm gonna pull out the paper trimmer. And again, this is Stampin' Up's new paper trimmer and I just want you to know how much I love it because I always try to find efficiencies and things that I do. And for this case, I can actually cut not one, but both piece of designer series paper at one time. Now the question is, what am I gonna cut it to? So I do have a template here for you guys that I will post on the page. Um, basically, we're gonna start with our four inch cut. We're gonna cut four inches by six, but then we're gonna trim off three quarters of an inch. And then we're gonna trim off another one and a half inches and that's gonna leave us with a half an inch and then a little bit of scrap. And all those scraps you're gonna to wanna to keep because you can add them to your envelopes or the inside of your cards. They're always good for something. So again, we're gonna start by cutting at four inches and then five and a quarter. So I just wanna make sure that they, they don't shift on me. So that's the only thing with cutting two at a time. I'm gonna set aside those pieces and now I'm trimming this to one and a half and that's gonna leave a half of an inch strip. And then I'm trimming this down to five and a half. 
There, so just like that, you have all your designer paper cut. Now, I've gone ahead and pre-cut the pieces that I want to coordinate. Here we've got Pool Party and Petal Pink. So I'm going to start by using my snail to um, mount the designer series paper. So in both cases, I'm going to use the birds. So I'm just going to put some snail in the back. In fact, I just want to find a piece that actually has more blue in it, which this one does. So I'm going to mount that like so. And I'm going to do the same with the other strip. There we go. So we got two of those ready. So let's start with card base number one. Card base number one has the card that's going to have the full five and a quarter by four inch piece of designer series paper on the front. And it's going to look just like this. And then I'm going to take one of those little pieces of three quarters of an inch and I'm going to adhere the bird or like the bird side so that I have the pattern paper on top. And that just gives it the little alternate look. Perfect. Now I'm going to go to card number two. And that's the one I'm going to put the pool party piece on. You're going to see how fast and easy this is to make six cards. Now don't forget, when you guys do this, you're going to double it up. So whatever I'm showing you, you're going to just do it twice in that same order. I found that that was the most efficient way to kind of get this all going. So we've got card two paper adhered. Now card three, I'm going to adhere the petal pink piece. And that's just going to go right on the center of that outside flap. So this is that fun fold card, just like that. Now the pieces that were left over was one of these long strips. And we could have mounted it in here like so, or did something like this. But I was kind of particular about that. So you know what? I wanted to use another piece of this designer series paper to fill it with a large piece of the polka dot, just because I think it looks beautiful. So, for those of you getting the card kits, I am going to cut you an extra piece of that. But just so you know how easy it is to do with a 6x6 six six sheet of paper to make three beautiful cards with it. So now we have our card bases ready to go. Now we want to um, add a little bit of embellishment. And when I say embellishment, for this we're going to add some ribbon. And I know I've had this in almost every video, but here is the white polka dot ribbon that I just adore. So we'll start with card number one. And we're going to wrap that around and instead of tying some pretty bow, we're just going to tie a knot. I know there's some of you out there who really do not like tying bows and that's okay. So for that, we're just going to tie a knot. And this knot, we're going to tie close to kind of the far left side. But again, you can pick which side you want because maybe you want yours going on the right side. That's okay. That's the fabulous thing about crafting is it's your way, your style. This is just to kind of give you the tips and tricks so that you can make your own. There, so we've got some beautiful ribbon on there. And now I want to add some more ribbon onto this one. So let's do the same thing. I'm just going to add it around. Now, the nice thing about this ribbon also, which you've probably heard me say a hundred times, is that it actually goes on the card so nice and remains flat. So it doesn't actually create extra postage for when you're trying to mail it because sometimes our cards can get really bulky but I want to show you just how beautiful this is just like this because without adding any extra embellishments on it it's a beautiful card and like I said it will mail just like this you won't have to pay extra postage but of course I like to embellish mine over and over again so mine usually ends up being a double postage so I'm just going to line that up almost centered not quite and we're going to actually leave no ribbon. Oh no, there is ribbon on the next card. So let me show you. I've already pre-cut the framelit pieces. This is where your sentiments are going to go. And this is using the Stitch Sweetly frame, uh, dies that um, are in the catalog. They're also carrying over. They're going to be your must-have, your go-to, because they actually remain open at all times by my Big Shot machine. But what I'm going to do is wrap ribbon around this large rectangle. So I've cut two sizes and it's the large one that I'm just going to wrap a little bit of ribbon on. Again, no bow tying. It's a knot only. So let's uh, get that going. And again, I tr I'm trying to keep that closer to the bottom 
just so that it's not really in the way, but the knot is kind of on the side, and you can kind of adjust as needed. You'll see once we get the sentiments kind of all done up. So I'm just gonna cut and cut. Oops, that one probably could use a little more. Now you crafty folks, I know you're gonna save your ribbon because you can use these to attach them to your cards or other pieces later, so don't throw those away because there's always use for them. There, so now our ribbon is ready. Time to stamp. So this card class is featuring the So Sentimental stamp set. Like I said, everyone who's going to be getting the kits, they're going to, it's going to come with all the supplies that they need, um, except the stamp set. So hopefully you have this stamp set. If not, you can add that to your order or use something else that you have in your, in your, um, in your stamp room. Okay, so I'm just going to again pull out the black ink. We're going to start with, I can't thank you enough. This is my favorite sentiment as part of that stamp set. So we're just going to stamp, lift, and this one is going to be healing hugs, sending healing hugs. I'm sure we all know someone who could use this card as a cheer me up right now. During these times, it's definitely different, and there are a lot of people out there who are needing a friend right now. Okay, so same thing, we're just going to do this one, wishing you much happiness today and always. Giving a little stamp, just like that. So our stamping is done. And again, you guys who are doing this as a class, you'll be doing that double. So again, let's go back. We're gonna start with card number one. We're just gonna put some dimensionals on the back of that. Again, this is the one that says, thank, or I can't thank you enough. I just love it. Ooh, but before we put that one down, I know I forget. I want to add a little trinket because like I said, my stuff always ends up being a little bit bulky. So what I'm doing is I'm just wrapping a little bit of linen thread around. We're going to trim that. And we're going to use the embellishments, the little bird ballad trinkets. And here they are right here. I don't know if you can see, but they're little flowers little leaves. Well, there's a cute little key in there and a little bow. And again, those are discontinuing here at the end of this catalog, the end of this month. So grab yours right away. And so I'm just going to thread this guy on here like so. And again, no bow required. We're just tying a knot. But again, you can make this as fancy as you want. Oh, I'm going to Bring that up so this knot ties on the trinket. There we go. Just like that. Now we can add that thank you. And there, card number one is done. Just like that. Super fun. Card number two. We've wrapped the ribbon around. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put this wishing you much happiness today and always. So I'm going to put some dimensionals just on the top and bottom. I'm not putting them on the side like I normally do, only because it's going to end up sticking to the ribbon. And sometimes I want to adjust that ribbon. So just like now, move that over to the side a little bit more. And here we go. Now I may have moved it too much because I kind of want that knot up on here. But now to embellish this one, we're going to use the flower. Now because this is metal hardware. It's best to use your glue dots to help really make it stick. And just to ensure that I've got enough on there, I always double glue dot when I'm adhering these guys. And I'm just going to put that in the center like that, just as a way to finish it off. But again, this nail bulk here, so you may want to use this when you're giving a friend, like hand delivering a gift, or pay the extra postage because someone will love it. So now on this one, this is the one where we did the sending healing hugs right here. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm going to put dimensionals on the back. This time I'll do all four corners just so that it's got even distribution of puffiness. And here we go. So oopsie, I don't have that over far enough for my liking. So we'll shift that a little bit more and layer it just like so. Isn't that awesome? 
And then what we're going to do is flip it over. We're going to add some tear and tape. So now the tear and tape is going to go on the far left side. Now you want to do it as close to the edge as possible. I'm going to actually do two strips because um, you want to make sure you don't overlap on here because we don't want it to stick to that part of the card. So I'm just going to peel that. Again, that's the tear and tape. Definitely another staple and no worries, that one is carrying over. So thank goodness we'll have more of that because it's so easy to use and it's very sturdy. So we're just going to mount that down like that. But we want to add some more embellishments. So I'm actually going to use some vellum and our butterfly punch. And we're just going to punch out, it's going to punch out two vellum butterflies, a big one and a small one. And I'm going to glue dot the big one. If I can find it here, it's so translucent. We're just going to add that above here. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, I just love that. And now I'm going to find some coordinating cardstock and just punch out as well. So hopefully you've got the butterfly punch. If not, don't worry because I will do all the punching for those of you who take advantage of the ordering or paying the class fee. But if you have it at home, you'll be able to make so many of these. There. So aren't those just so lovely, easy to do? But... Again, I always have to do more. <laughs> Simple just doesn't seem to be enough for me. So we've got these beautiful champagne rhinestones that are going to add the final touches to these cards. So what I'm going to do is just add a little rhinestone, a medium sized rhinestone to the center of my butterfly. Doesn't that just completely finish it off? I think that's just gorgeous. And then on this one, I think that flower needs a gem right in the center. Now I wish you could see these in real life because for whatever reason video and, and uh, pictures just don't kind of show the charm. But it's so gorgeous. And now we've got this one with the fun leaf. I think this one could use some little gemstones on either side of the label tag. Don't you think? There. Those are just the final touches. So again, for the stamp -a stack remember, you'll receive enough supplies to do two of each card, plus envelopes, as well as the classroom gift. Make sure you use the hostess code that's noted right here. That hostess code is going to be good until Thursday night, and then at which time the order will go in. And so I've pasted on the event page kind of the timelines. We are dependent on Stampin' Up! delivering the items, and there seems to be a delay because of COVID. Um, I know restrictions in the States haven't quite opened up the same as they are here, so hopefully uh, you bear with us if there is a delay. But I do anticipate getting project kits out to everyone by May 26. If you have any questions, please share them in the Facebook page, text me or message me. And as you create yours, please make sure you come back to the post and share with everyone so that we can see your creations. Thank you all for joining me. Bye for now. Oh no!